Hi everyone, this is Sharon Rose Master Raymond Chan. So today I'm going to share with you the health benefits of vitamin C. So vitamin C or ascorbic acid is a water-soluble vitamin. Why do you have to take it? Simple reason is our human body cannot make it. So this is why we have to absorb it through either consuming food rich in vitamin C like fruit or color veggies or taking health supplements. Now vitamin C has many health benefits. Number one, it can help your skin. Vitamin C actually helps us to brighten up the skin tone and reduces ramps. It can also help those age spots. It helps the skin hydration a lot and helps you to reduce wrinkles. Number two, vitamin C has been found to help baby brains to grow better. Now a professor in Denmark discovered that when he tried to give vitamin C to those pregnant guinea pig's mothers, the baby's memories improved by 10 to 15%. Interestingly, if the vitamin C were given after the babies were born, the health benefits were not as great as if it were given before the deliveries. Same thing applies to human beings. So it is always advisable for pregnant ladies to take enough vitamin C before their deliveries. Number three, vitamin C actually can help your eyes. So studies show that if you consume vitamin C on long term, it can actually help to prevent uh, age-related macular degeneration. Number four, vitamin C actually is a natural laxative. Now what it does is it draws water into your gut. <clears throat> And that's why I can help you to soften up <clears throat> those stools. So I know uh, constipation has always been a big problem to many elderly. So if you take enough vitamin C at the recommended dose, it's usually very safe and you should be able to help your constipation. Number five, <clears throat> vitamin C can actually prevent gum bleeding and bleeding underneath your skin. Now scurvy is a long known disease in the 15th, 18th centuries when sailors uh, on long voyages on the sea in the sea couldn't get an access to fresh fruit produce and it tends to bleed in the gums. So um, if you take a vitamin C, it can help you reverse it. So now, nowadays people find that if you take enough vitamin C, you're going to get less chance of getting periodontal disease or gum disease. Number six, vitamin C can help you to lower your bad cholesterol and help you to absorb iron better. So for those who are taking iron supplements, it's always advisable to take vitamin C at the same time. Number seven, how about infection? Yes, there are some evidences. Now, vitamin C was found that you may be able to help to shorten the duration of a common cold. And also, you may even able to help those uh, prevent the cold in extreme condition, like athletes, skiers, or military personnel. How about pneumonia, <clears throat> meaning lung infection? Uh, Researchers found that if you take vitamin C, it may be able to help the body to eliminate the excess fluid from the lung. What happens is that when you have an infection in the lung, there are a lot of white cells accumulating in the lungs, and this, in this way, it will destroy one of the blood vessels at the ending of the lung cells. So, too much water being built into the lung cells, and that's the way, and it will drown the lung. So vitamin C was found that it may be able to help the body to excrete those excess fluid. So infected lungs may be less likely to get drowned and the patients may have a better chance of survival. Number eight, vitamin C has been found that it may be able to help the mood and deal with stresses. Now, um, <clears throat> many brain chemicals or we call neurotransmitter was actually being synthesized in our brain through the help of vitamin C. Dopamine is one of them. So uh, deficiency of dopamine has been tied in with many neurological disorders, including mood problems. And vitamin C may be able to help. Vitamin C also plays a major role in help us to make many uh, stress hormones like adrenaline. So it's always highly recommended for those undergoing a lot of stress to consume food or take supplement with good and adequate content of vitamin C. So what's the recommended dose of vitamin C? Well, for adults, it's 60 to 95 milligrams per day, sometimes up to 120 milligrams a day in certain individuals. And the upper limit of normal is 2,000 milligrams or 2 grams a day. So why do they take atomic vitamin C compared to other brands? There may be a reason behind it. Well, 
The company is kind enough to throw in a few precious ingredients, so, uh, so you may want to think about it when you make your choice. I'm just going to list a few. Number one is the fish collagen. This is basically the superhero of collagen, and it really can greatly benefit our skin and our bone. In terms of our skin, it helps to make our outer skin, which is called epidermis, thicker and help to replace those damaged skin collagen. For our bone, it helps us to keep the minerals, mostly the calcium, into the bone matrix much better, so we can have a bigger, bigger bone size and much dense bone. Number two is turmeric. Now, turmeric is basically the main spice we find in curry. It is a long known um, uh, substance, natural substance in the world that has a very strong anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. It can help the arthritis, you lower chance of getting diabetes, and you get, get you a better control of your cholesterol. Number three is chicory root. Well, uh, this is a, basically a plant containing a natural substance called inulin. Now, inulin is a, basically a prebiotic, meaning it's a food for the probiotic or the good germs. So inulin has a special properties by able to help to get a better control of your sugar and have been able to help you to control your weight. Now today, this is just a quick summary of all the many health benefits of vitamin C and hope everybody can enjoy it and get the most out of it. Take care for now and see you all next time.